to sew what you like i am your girl maureen mills and welcome to i think this is episode nine let me get it right this time <laughs> episode nine of friday sews okay guys so in today's friday sews i am going to be talking about this great two-piece that i made all right, using McCall's 8369. So if you are wanting to know how it turned out, and also I'll be talking about future makes, keep on watching. All right, guys. So this week I had the pleasure of making McCall's 8369. All right, and here are the line drawings. All right, so this pattern is a women's knit tops and pants. Suggested fabrics are stretch knits, such as athletic knits, cotton knits, and rib knit. All right, and as far as notions, you're going to need some elastic. And that's basically the only notion. I mean, I mean, other than like thread, of course, your sewing machine. So don't need a whole lot to get it done. Now, this um, pattern is a bit of a fabric hog and it's really just the pants. So as you can see, the pants are bell bottom, but you see they're very luminous at the bottom. And so it takes up quite a bit of fabric. Um, so let's see, I did view C right here and I believe, so basically I did this view C is what she has on. Um, so yep. So view B is the top with the little peekaboo hole, keyhole, whatever you want to call it. So that is what I did. That is the version that I made. Um, the pants took quite a bit of fabric, okay? They took almost three yards of fabric. So, keep that in mind when you're um, thinking about making this pattern. Um, the top only took about, about three quarters of a yard. Um, so yes, keep, keep that in mind, especially if you're wanting to do a matchy set, just know that you're going to need about four, four and a half yards of fabric. Okay. So I wanted my set to be matchy. Okay. And I did it in a fabulous camo, um, rib knit. Okay. And so I needed about four yards of fabric. So I had to purchase that fabric because I didn't have four yards of matchy fabric to make it with, right? So that was exciting to have to do that <laughs> because I'm on the fabric diet, okay? So what I will say about the pattern is, um, okay, let's go over the things that I like about it. I think it's very cute, okay? It's very cute. It's trendy. The bell bottoms. I mean, I, okay, so here, let me be real with y'all. I like it, but I'm definitely going to do it totally different the next time I make it. Okay, so let's start with the top. The top, what I will do different is um, I'm going to have to do some adjustments. Okay, so we all know that when you're sewing with knit, depending on um, how much spandex, right, is in the knit, determines typically what size you should cut. So I didn't realize that my rib knit had so much spandex in it. Okay, so I probably should have um, went down on the sides and then i have lost a few pounds too can y'all tell in my face <laughs> i've lost a few pounds as well so you know there's that so definitely would make a smaller size only on the sides 
I actually am probably going to add, um, I think I need to do what is called a forward shoulder adjustment. So I need to add some to the back and maybe take a little bit away from the front um, because so that it can sit at the shoulder line. Because of the length of it and because my boobs are big, it wants to kind of pull it down, right? It wants to pull it down where the um, shoulder seams are not where they should be. So that is what I will do different. And also, you know, I had some gathering on my lower band and I kept looking at the model, um, the model's lower band in this picture to see if she had gathering because I felt like she didn't have any. But when I look on this side, I can see a few gathers there. So maybe it maybe it is supposed to be like that because at first I was like, did I sew my elastic, you know, too tight? So I don't know. But I do know that in going down on the sides, you know, kind of sizing it on the sides, that'll um, probably lessen some of those um, gathers that are on the band. Okay, so that is the top. The pants. I like the pants, but I'm not too crazy about this band here. Their version of it, okay? Um, I believe it's Green Style has a pair of leggings. They're not um, wide, okay? But they have a pair of leggings that has that same band. And that band for me fits... It, I like the way that it's made better, and to me, if it has a better fit to it, I feel like their band is more contoured to the way. So you know how, like, you see the excuse me, you see the bands that are more like this. So this is the top, but it kind of comes in like this and not like this. So theirs is a little bit more contoured. So I like the way their band fits me better. So I really, to be honest. Could just line up um, the pant leg with this pant leg to get that volume at the bottom, to get that bell bottom. I could really just add that to the green style pattern and then have the, perf the perfect fit for me. Okay, now in the green style pattern, you don't need to add elastic. So this is, once again, you know, everything depends on the pattern. But I like the fact that you don't have to add elastic and it still does that to your waist, right? So, wasn't crazy about this band. Um, they have you use quarter inch elastic. And the way the band is, it's almost like a somewhat like a diamond shape, right? So, they have there's a fold line in the middle. And so, they have you sew the elastic together. Then you kind of slip it on there and line that elastic up with the fold line. And then they have you baste it on there. Yeah, I'm not doing any of that. That that, I, that was just too much for me. Like, I don't want to be fighting with the elastic to stay where, you know, stay stretched out. You know why I'm basting it. I did not do that. <laughs> what I did was something similar to how um, the shirt or the top. The top, when you do the band, you um, when you're sewing the band on um, for the sides, you are leaving an opening, right, so that you can slip the last again, you know, in the inside. That is what I did for the pants. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting that battle today. I fought enough battles today, so that is simply what I did. Yes. You have to sew the front and the back band together. And so, you know, you'll have a seam because you have to sew them together. I just, what I did was I left a little slit in there or like a little space, about three eighths of an inch, okay? I then did a top stitch around three eighths because they have you top stitch that uh, to create a casing. I did my top stitch, okay, three eighths, and I slipped that elastic through that hole that I left, okay? The thing for me is I like to work smarter, not harder. So if you ever hear me saying something that you feel like I'm working harder and not smarter, 
let me know below, okay? Because I'm all about working smarter, not harder. <laughs> okay, so that is what I did to get the elastic in the pants. A little slip stitch, because you're going to have to slip stitch the top. So, you know, and then the hole on the bottom is going to be smaller. So, you know, I didn't mind doing that. And here's another thing. Ain't nobody got to know that you didn't even close up your slip stitch or your opening, that you didn't slip stitch your opening. Who's going to be inside your garments making sure that you sewed it closed? Okay? So, but we all want to have professional <laughs> finished things. So, close your slip stitching. But there's a time or two I was like, forget that. <laughs> yeah, so that is how I finished the pants. Um, I feel like I probably could have went down maybe a little bit in the pants as well. Um, so basically I would make it smaller. So I'm going to see if, uh, my younger daughter wants it and then I'll give it to her. And if not, if she doesn't want it, you know, I'll keep it, but I'll probably have to end up giving it away because I still have a few pounds I'm trying to lose. So Overall, it is a good pattern, okay? So, few things to remember. It's a fabric hog. Pay close attention to the elastic in the pants if you prefer to do it that way. Uh, Brittany J. Jones does have a tutorial, okay, where she shows you, you know, how to do it. I don't know that she shows you on screen the basing that she does, but she basically shows you what they're doing in the instructions. So, you know, you be the judge of that for you. You know what works best for you, all right? And um, the length, you might want to check the length, the, um, the finished side length from the waist, Okay, because we all know that these patterns are drafted for, I believe, five, six, five, seven. All right. And so me being five, four, um, I did not shorten it. However, I did make my hem a little bigger, right? I made my hem a little bigger. So that kind of helped with that because, I mean, to be honest, I... Um, as you'll see in the pictures, I took some pictures in heels because I wanted to see what it looked like in the heel, you know, and I took some in like a little flat slip on sandal. Okay. So, you know, I mean, to each its own, I didn't have, um, gym shoes that I would like to wear with this for that particular camo. I didn't have any sneakers, you know, like that I felt like, you know, went well with it so i just opted for just trying to see how it looked with the heel and the sandal so those are just some things to keep in mind and you know like i said your fabric keep that in mind you know they do have the little stretch gauge at the bottom on most patterns for knit so you know make sure that you um you see how much you know spandex is in your knit to determine whether or not you need to do your size or maybe you need to go down your size or so. All right, so keep that in mind. And guys, I think that is about it. Okay, so tell me how you like how my outfit came out. You know, do you like my two-piece camo? All right, leave me a comment below. Also guys, please be sure to give me thumbs up. Of course, if you like the content, you know, it really gets me excited, you know, to see your comments, you know, to be interacting. You know, it lets me know that you enjoy my content, all right? And also, if you have been here one, two, or three times, please consider subscribing because you're coming back because you enjoy seeing something, right? Okay, and also, sharing is caring, okay? And also make sure you have on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. That is it, folks. Goodbye. Stay blessed.